Okay, I'm now sharing sharing my craft room with my doggy. This is my doggy. This is Barkley McSquaffles. Say hi, Barkley. Hi, Barkley. No, you don't want to do. Yes. So, um, I do apologise for any bangs, crashes, and noises. It's the dog. We're playing the dog. <laughs> okay. As I start, I'd like to say that what I first do, I never used to, but what I do now, when I make an album, I plan it all out first. And I make all the pages, but don't put them together. So this is all my planning. Page for page, it starts off nice and neat. And then it gets messier and messier. <laughs> Until it's just, yeah. So that's my plan that has to stay close by or else I'll forget what I was doing because this album has been in planning for oh, about three weeks now so all my pages are in here ready and we'll start with page one and I've got all my bits here all right the pages are six by nine inches I do not know what that is in centimeters and I have a base page which is just six by nine and then everything else goes on top of that and hopefully I've got everything already here um, I tend to pre-make the inserts so they'll be already made and uh, I'll get all this sorted and then I'll start okay I think I've got it figured out <laughs> like I said it's been a long time so grab my score tape I don't always use score tape in fact I use it very rarely now simply because really I can't afford it it's too expensive and I find wet glue is probably the strongest so you want to cut one piece six by nine inches got my bits out of the way and then another piece which is six by nine and a half or six by ten because you want a flat pit and you want to score it so that it's nine inches okay uh, score tape actually i think what i'm going to do is i'm not going to use the score tape i'm just going to mite my edges here and glue it straight down i do tend to use the anita's tacky glue quite often or the scotch used to be called scotch quick dry it's called something else now okay now you have to ignore the front of this I've actually already prepped some bits here so you just lay those one on top of another nice and even burnish get rid of the glue okay so that's going to be your base and then this bit here okay from the front I've had to pre prep it simply because it was going to take so long you cut a piece I do believe this should be five and a half inches one two three four no it's five so well you cut a piece five and a half inches score it on half an inch and then flip it to the side. So, so you've got an extra flap here and I've actually got a magnet ready with mine okay so five and a half inches by six inches score it half an inch in and then apply it to the side these flaps here are optional um, I just did them and this is a spell this was cut with a spell binders die it was set of these and I've used these quite a lot the whole sets so and these are just two tabs and once again I've used magnets and covered them ready because that bit does take quite a while to sort out and flap around with so I've got the base page six by nine same over the top but don't forget to add the extra little bit on the side here the hinge and then if you want two little flaps here and then get your magnets prepped 
don't forget your magnets. This is the only reason they are here is because I forget them constantly. So I thought if I put them in, I won't forget them. <laughs> and when they're not already stuck down, you'll have you'll see written across the page in pencil magnets. <laughs> so that's the first part. I'm not cut very well. <clears throat> um, so once you've put on this five in five by six inch piece, not forgetting the half inch for your hinge bit here, you should have this. So it'll flap here and then flap completely open here. Okay, right here I'm going to have a pocket and once again everything has been pre-prepped which is why I'm <laughs> I've forgotten what I did. So hopefully I'll be able to get through this without too much trouble and without making too many mistakes. Um, and without losing half of what I've done. Right, I think what I'm going to do first is uh, put my mat here. And this is um, a stamp which I've just embossed. Stamped it black ink and then embossed it. Um, I'm not too sure where the stamp comes from. I did have everything here ready. And I have no idea now. I, I got it from uh, Amazon from a place called Bic Warehouse. That's B I C, Bic Warehouse. And they do some really nice uh, stamps and stuff like school tape and such, like that is really hard to get hold of in the UK. So I'm just going to stick that one on there. I'd rather use too much glue than not enough. I'm hoping to get through this without too much editing and hope the sound is okay. Right, somewhere around here I have a pocket. And once again, I've already pre-cut them. What I haven't done on here... And I know everyone says you should use glue and never tape at the bottom. I always use both. I just get a really thin piece of school tape just on the bottom. Just so that it sticks. Okay, and this pocket's going here. Now this pocket is only three and a half inches wide. So I've got this half inch gap here, which I will fill with a piece of paper. She says looking for the piece of paper. But anyway, that's the idea. Oh, I was so well prepped and now I'm so in it is. Okay. I'm just going to fold this bit over slightly because it's gone slightly over. There. And what I do when I cut the pattern paper when I've got this decorative edge is I tend to lay the paper, cut the paper to size, but never to length, only cut it to width. Butt the paper up, cut it together, and then just, I'm, I'm one of these people, I don't measure, I use pencil marks. So, yeah, I just figure out where I want it cut, and and then do it all by pencil marks and hopefully get it straight. Okay, so this goes right at the very edge. And I'm really sorry, but my dog's just started snoring. <laughs> Buggy tight, boy. Yeah, the dog is snoring, lovely. Okay, and I've got this little piece here just to mat on the inside. Uh, the papers, I didn't, like I said, I didn't buy a paper pack. I got them singly, and a lot of them don't have names on. I know some of them are Seven Gypsies. Um, that's about it, really, because most of these papers, I buy them three for a pound. 
and they don't have the little strip on that says where they come from so right there's that bit and oh, what did I do with my little strip of paper okay I'm going on a paper hunt I'll be back in a second found it <laughs> okay I've decided to pattern the pocket the same as the top on this one and just have the dextrous strip in the middle I know that this is seven gypsies but that's all I know so let's get these stuck down and my plan was to use this seven gypsies paper throughout the album as just like little strips and and then I didn't I did on the first two pages and then kind of gave up on that And as you're going to find out very quickly, I'm a very, very messy crafter. I'm messy, I'm disorganised, but it works for me. <laughs> so in this glue I have, it's got a drop of water in it, just a drop, to thin it out slightly so that it's easier to get out the bottle, to be honest. There we go. The black cardstock I'm using, I do believe it's, mm, it was 160 GSM, the base cardstock, and then they ran out and the rest of it is a 200 GSM. But to be honest, I prefer the, the 160, the slightly lighter paper. I think it's a slightly better quality paper. But my local craft store ran out, so. Okay, so when you have the So you can put something in here and I'll hold it in but that there is the front first page I'm just making sure that everything's well stuck down so there you go five inches by six inches three and a half inches um, this is four and three quarter inches tall at the highest point and then this flaps open don't forget when you cut this piece, leave space for your hinge, and then a whole lot will flap open there. So that's the first, the first page of the first page. <laughs> and I'll sort out the next bit and get right back. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for this next bit. Uh, for the inside flap here, I know that there are going to be pockets. that's quite simply da, 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 da. pocket there same on the other side and then I'm gonna have just a strip there and the paper there okay so this pocket measures one two three and a half inches obviously by six inches but include an extra inch for the flaps each side and the paper to match this is was just an extra bit I wanted a little extra belly band on there which I may or may not use I don't know so that's going to be on the inside of there <laughs> lost a pocket supposed to have two pockets is that the other one there's the other one right let's get this done now I haven't prepped any of this with tape so I'm assuming when I did it I assumed I would not told you I was a messy crafter um, <laughs> that I would not be using tape let's get my scissors and just miter these edges slightly I do like to use both tape and glue together because it does make it really really last okay let's glue one down first don't forget to put your magnets in if you're having magnets and 
a bit along the bottom. Whoops. Okay. Now you don't want to butt this up right up close there. You want to leave just a tiny, tiny gap because if you don't, it will get in the way of it opening and closing. There, hold that down for a second. I'm really sorry it's black on black, but I just like the black, as it was a Raven album, obviously it was going to be black. That's not that one. <laughs> See, messy, messy crafter me. There we go. Now I have to figure out which way round this is, because... Hmm, which way round do I want this? Well, it's too late now, this one goes here. <laughs> And I do think that might have been... Oh, thank goodness for that. It was the right way around. <laughs> okay. This is just for the matting at the back. So I'm just going to slip in there. And cover up that magnet. Um, I always put the matting in after... I've put the pocket in so that it covers up the little bit of pocket on this side. So it's, it's just neater. Not that you can see down there at all. There we go. And then the pocket cover. I did say if it was going to go wrong, it would go wrong. <laughs> stuck down nicely. Yep. No problems in closing that there. And there we go. There's that bit done. Oops. Bring that up a bit. There we go. I don't know if I actually made anything to go in these pockets yet, but that's okay. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on each side of the band there and have that. Oh, where shall I have it? Let's put it up here and give it a quick measure. Should we have it? Hmm. There. Roughly an inch in. I think that's what I plan to do. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> There, so the pocket and little band, at least it will be when it's dry, and then the same for the other side. Right to these corners a little bit. See, it's getting quite dark here now. I try to get this done during the day. And my lamp's an excellent craft lamp. It's not the best lamp for filming. See? Messy. I do have dexterity problems. I do suffer from arthritis, among other things. So it is quite difficult for me to hold on to things. But, you know, if I can craft and drop things all the time and still get things done, then anyone can. I'm just trying to close that, and of course that doesn't close that way. It's come off. <laughs> Hold that down for a second. Make sure that still closes. Yep, that's good. <laughs> These were good magnets. Pop in this bit here. Like I said, the mat just needs to be cut slightly less than the width of your pocket. And then it only needs to go as far down as just past here. But, or however far down you want it to go. You don't need a full piece there because obviously you're not going to see it. Get that 
glue spread out and around the magnet. There we go. Of course, the front of this is actually quite similar to how I did my Alice in Wonderland album. But slightly different. It just looks very similar to from the front. There we go. And a little bit of glue each side for this one. It would be nice if I could remember <laughs> what I was going to do. Oops. That is actually quite long for those. I might have to cut those down slightly. In there. Yeah, I think I'll cut those down just a touch. That's better. Okay. No, right, first way round. Right. So then we've got pocket here, magnetic flap here, flap here, pocket pocket. Then we have to do the inside. Once I've sorted that out, I'll be back to do that. Okay, we're on to the next part of this page, following day. <laughs> and it's the inside of the page. So we're gonna start by removing all of this. Right, we're gonna do this side of the page is simply a pocket. Quite simple because I didn't want to add too much bulk with all this being on this side. So start with the mat at the top. No we don't. We start with the pocket see it's been a hard day already <laughs> right let's remove the backing tape I'm using red line tape here and I can't get it off there we go Okay, bit of glue. And across the bottom because we don't want everything to fall out. And then line up across the bottom. And I think I already said this page is slightly under the nine inches because you want to be able to close this. So you want to take off about a sixteenth of an inch and not not butt it right up to the score line, just leave that tiny gap. All right, now I can put the mat in the back. the right, right way up Like I said, I only do that just so that it covers up the edges of the pockets just in here. So you can't see that fold where the pocket is held in. 
and then the cover for the pocket Make sure that glue is nicely spread out. That was the easy bit. That's all done. And I still managed to nearly muck that one up. Right. This side gets slightly more complicated. <coughs> right. For this side on a cut piece that's seven by seven inches. Focus, camera. Okay, sorry, having camera teething problems here. Okay, so you want to cut a piece that's seven by seven inches and then score it half an inch on opposite sides and this is going to go centered into the bottom here our base page okay so seven by seven score it half an inch each side and put tape on and you want to seal one end as well so basically effectively you're making a pocket that starts an inch in from one side scissors I love the way I sound so trying to sound so professional and I'm not at all oh. I guess that's what's good about crafting you just wing it and I hope it turns out okay <laughs> definitely need to clean these scissors Okay, here's where the fun starts on this side. Right, so you want to put this piece an inch in from each side so that it's centered in the middle of the base page, which I will try to do without mucking up completely. Once again, the glue is added as well, just to give me that little bit of extra time to wiggle things around and for a little bit of extra strength. So let's line this up. Okay, and it goes in an inch each side. making sure that the open end is on the free side here not near the pocket side you've just done okay so I've got a pocket here I'm just going to the edges I think yeah. Pop that in. So I'm a bit quiet today. I haven't had a good day so far. <laughs> Two 
too much chocolate. <laughs> Make that to focus, brilliant. And then just a strip for this side. And obviously, this strip just has to make sure it has to go in a couple of inches and this strip this side just an inch to cover this side oh tight squeeze make sure I can still close that yeah right and that was the easy part <laughs> right so next what we're going to do is have a couple of pockets stacked one above the other on here with flaps because i don't want to do it easily do i so first pocket and obviously it does measure seven inches across and at the tallest point let's give this a quick measure I do believe it was two and a no three inches three inches of course it is half the size of the page so and once again I've done the decorative edge wait for it to focus again there it is and I've actually because they're quite small pockets this way instead of just sealing the bottom I'll put a flap in so, and the flap always goes on top so as in on the top bit here she says as her camera goes offline uh, oh it doesn't want to focus today does it focus there it is Right, the easiest way for me, I have found, is to just take off the bottom first. And then place the bottom on. There we go. funny feeling it's me putting my glue there that keeps on sending it out of focus right make sure this glues all dry because obviously I don't want to close the pocket and have it stick down there <coughs> okay now I'm going to line up the next one be here and do exactly the same oh, I didn't write my edges on there either Right, and on this bit, I'm not going to worry too much if it sticks out of the top slightly because I can trim it at the top. So I'm going to line it up to the top of the lower pocket and the edge there. Like a symbol. So that will be two pockets, but just to make things slightly more difficult, 
I've decided I want these pockets to have flaps over the top <laughs> which is what I've got here <clears throat> so just going to pause the camera for a second trim this bit off here and get my flaps ready for the top and I shall probably put those bits on as well okay so I'll be back in a moment okay so that's oops they're covered trim the top hopefully it'll be enough because obviously I've got to get the flaps in there right these two bits are for the matting inside so I'll put those to one side for the moment and obviously with the pockets you have to the pocket flaps uh, you have to cover both sides well you don't have to but I do <coughs> um, and of course all this the, the matting's much much easier to do when the pockets are not attached so right and these pockets are obviously three inches again and what they're going to do is just slip in here like so and I think the easiest way for me to do this <laughs> she says hopefully <laughs> is to find my pokey tool, there we go make sure that's not but the tape's just slightly too large there for the flap so just lifting that over so that I don't get a sticky edge okay Trying to think about the best way to do this for me and I think it's going to be this way right so right, I'm going to line up the pocket here and then Place that down like that. Right, the other reason why there's such a big flap on this pocket, I did forget to mention, is so that I can get my wrecked score tool here, uh, bone folder. And if I give that a really, really good burnish, be quite rough with it, it makes that edge almost disappear so that it doesn't interfere with the little tags going into the pockets there. Let's just do this one as well. That's better. <clears throat> okay. Now I don't know why I didn't have magnets on these. Why did I not put magnets on these? That would have been the sensible thing to do, don't you think? If you're going to have magnets on these, like I should have done, obviously it's best to have them before you put the papers on do I want magnets? nah <laughs> they're fine as they are now ok I'll give that a really really good burnish and that'll have that stick down or stay down flat ok now what I'm going to do is that doesn't seem to be a very good fit. Let's move that up a second. I think I want a tiny bit off the top there because it's 
Yeah, just a tiny bit off the top. <laughs> okay, I've hidden my cutter back in a second again. Okay, this is great. I've always wanted one of these Viscas cutters and <laughs> now I've got it. I'm still learning how to use it. So I just want a tiny bit off the edge. Probably be better to use my other cutter, but probably too much, but it should be okay. Let's just give that a quick ink. No, that'll be fine. <laughs> Right, the reason I'm putting the, decor the decorative bits on this pocket first is because obviously I've got the top one to do and they've both been cut independently from each other and I don't want to get the matting, the decorative papers muddled up and accidentally put, stick the wrong one on the wrong pocket and then find the second one doesn't quite fit. This will go in here. Because obviously this bit's got to slip in. It's only a tiny bit here to cover up that little little bit there. And for some reason I've got Oh I tore the paper. So I put an extra bit of uh, tape on the back. I'm going to stick this one down first. That's going to annoy the heck out of me. Scissors going to cut that little bit off because it's sticky and it shouldn't show <clears throat> because it's going to be hidden inside the pocket okay <clears throat> this in here without making too much of a mess <laughs> me not make a mess impossible let's just get that stuck down Lovely. Of course, I'm not sharing the craft room with the dog right now. I am sharing the car craft room with one of my buddy cats. So, if you can hear a little bell tinkling in the background, it's it's my pussycat. It's on her collar. Hope she doesn't jump up on the desk. Okay, 
So that's that bottom pocket completed. Now for the top one. And of course we do have the pocket in the side <coughs> as well. Okay, and I'll do this one exactly the same as I did the last one. Lining up that there, making sure it fits. And that's going to go over the edge. So what I think I'll do, I'm going to cut an extra little bit off of the sides here. And that should allow my pocket to my pocket flap to sit down without having a tiny bit more of this side. There we go. Again, let's just lift that over. I think it'll be covered by the paper anyway, so it's it's not too bad. Okay, let's line this pocket up with this one, and then stick it down to the page. It needs to go over slightly, I think. That's better. Yeah, that's not going to interfere with anything. So now we can stick this part down. See, I've actually got little pencil numbers I write here, number one, and then on the back of here should be, there it is, number one, so that I know which mats go with which. Not that I ever take any notice of them. Okay, pop this one in here. is almost finished. Pop the pattern paper on. Just measuring up first because <clears throat> I don't want to have to put it on and then find out that it doesn't fit properly, which is the kind of thing I usually do. There we go. 
sorry my camera keeps on going off okay right so and I put these to put, pop in here and they are obviously just under the seven inches and just under just under seven inches and just under the uh, <laughs> three inches just so they fit nicely and that they're just plain on the back so they slot in there at least it did and now it's decided to be difficult there we go this one, pattern the back on this one, that slots in the side here, and then plain on the back, and uh, patterned inside, that pops in this side, like so, then this has got the tag in already, it's a bit of a tight squeeze and it's got just a couple of tuck spots here and here this journaling paper in the centre is lined as well it's actually it's from a printable journal uh, from Screech Owl Studio, I'll put her link in the bottom as well she does amazing printable journals there's another page from one of her journals <coughs> And I think I have five of her printable journals so far. <laughs> so there we go. First page finished. Yay! One down, seven to go. <laughs> so, yeah, all done. On to the next one. Thanks for watching.